Guess who won the best looking cruiser contest? Guess. I'll wait. Florida, baby, that's who. Boom! Back to back champions. Get off my front bumper. Boom! That's right. Florida Highway Patrol wins it again. The 2024 best looking cruiser competition was just won by the Florida Highway Patrol. And here is the picture that won. Congratulations to the Florida Highway Patrol. With that being said, let's explain a little bit about this contest and then we're gonna go and see who finished in the top 10. And then I'm gonna give you my top 10. And you guys can say whether you agree with me or you don't. Either way, the competition's over. We won. I'm gonna get this gold plated. What do you guys think? Huh? Director Kerner, gold plated. Let's do it. Making our own turnover chains. Every year, the American Association of State Troopers hosts the Best Looking Cruiser Contest. And state trooper agencies from around the nation, they take their best looking cruiser and they take the best picture that they can and they submit it. Once submitted, the American Association of State Troopers puts it on a survey. This year it was on the website SurveyMonkey. Then you can go and you can vote for who you think is the best looking cruiser. This is available to all public. If you watched my last video with FHP, the FAFO video. I asked the Nod Squad to assemble, go to that link that was in the comments and vote. And the Nod Squad definitely represented. Now there was 49 agencies that submitted, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, that Hawaii doesn't have a state trooper uh, agency. So with that being said, here are the top 10 starting from 10 uh, and I'm going to give you the amount of, of votes that they got coming in at number 10 was Georgia State Patrol the GSP they got 9,324 number nine was Michigan with 9,947 then you had number eight Arkansas with 10,423 seven was Texas with 10,703 six was Mississippi with 12,489 Number five is North Carolina, 13,011. Four was West Virginia with 14,562. Number three was Nevada with 17,511. Number two was Kentucky Fried Chicken at 26,091. And number one was Florida with 28,995 votes. Now that was the top 10 in regards to results. However, I went through the cars and I was like, hmm, you know, I don't agree with some of these. I'm going to make my own top 10. And what I want you guys to do is tell me if, yeah, Nick, I agree with you on that. Or, nah, I don't agree with you on that. You're completely off. Now, the competition is over. We won. Fair and square. That's it. But let's have a little fun with it. Now, when I'm done showing you the card, then I'll put up a side-by-side -side with FHP. And you guys can say yes or no, whether you think that they beat them or not. I mean, the numbers don't lie. <laughs> numbers don't lie, baby. Florida. Now, the way I gauge this was like the car itself the actual picture that was taken, like the composition, if it wasn't too busy, um, if it was properly exposed. So the way that the picture looked on top of it, some the creativity behind it, where they put it, um, what kind of scenario they had, and then the car, the way that the car looked. So here we go. Coming in at number 10 was Minnesota State Patrol. Now I really was a fan of Santa Claus when I was little and I'm digging the red and white paint scheme. It's like red and white. That's Santa sled right there, baby. They got the nice hook around uh, front bumper, that, that hook around front bumper to protect the lights, the headlights and the front fender. I like the, like I said, the paint scheme, the black tires, little silver cap. Um, they kind of went simple. They put it on a sidewalk in front of Greetings from Minnesota to let you know where it's from. I'm digging it. Uh, however, it's a police car. I think we should have popped those lights on, but that's going to be my number 10 uh, pick. Let's move on to numero nine. Coming in at number nine is Iowa State Patrol. I really like that Aurora Borealis. I don't know if that is, but that's like that, what is it called? The winter sky or the, the night lights or something. I learned it was called the Aurora Borealis, but I'm really loving the picture itself. Super clean. It's got the nice sky back there. I don't know if that was Photoshopped, but it is a nice sky back there. And let's talk about this Tahoe. Man, it's like that gunmetal gray or that dark silver. I can't tell. It's a little dark, but they got the black wheels. They got the off-road tire, that front push bumper. 
super clean, super nice. The little yellow uh, insignia on the side door. I really like it. However, going back to what I was talking about, let's turn those lights on, man. It's a police car. Come on, baby. You got the lights, use it. Coming in at number eight is South Dakota, and they brought El Solo Lobo. It is that just white, clean looking, wolf looking, just reminds me of a wolf for some reason. That white, clean Camaro. Again, clean, got a little slick top. Um, they got the nice, what is that, silver rims, and it's just super clean. It looks like a white wolf. You got the mountain range in the background. The picture is simple, the car is nice. I probably would have turned it a little bit to the side so I can see a little portion of that uh, front grill, but I like the, uh, the, the the white paint scheme it's got going on there. So number eight is South Dakota. Coming in at number seven, the green machine, New Hampshire. So New Hampshire got this nice uh, like greenish, like very earthy looking picture. You got the green mountains in the background. A little forest tree line there, another green. And then you got the grass there. It's like different shades of green and it goes along perfectly with the car. So you got like that forest green or deep, or the olive looking uh, paint color. It's also two-tone. You can see on the top, it got that bronze little hood or the bronze rooftop there. I really liking it. I like the dark wheels. It's sitting low, it's sitting mean. It's got the yellow uh, insignia of the police department. I'm sorry, of the state troopers, my bad, my bad. Uh, the yellow insignia on the side and the front push bumper. So dinging it, really enjoying New Hampshire's uh, photo. Good job, guys, coming in at number seven. Number six, Texas Department of Public Safety, Texas, uh, AKA Texas DPS. So Texas DPS brings us this Chevy Silverado on the beach, letting you know that it can go through that sand with no problem. It's towing behind it. Looks like the Marine Patrol unit, some kind of rib boat there. And I'm really enjoying the paint scheme of Texas DPS. It's a Chevy Silverado. It's got the white, nice front hood there. And they decided to turn on the lights so you get extra brownie points from me. They got the off-road tires, the black rims, the black front bumper and the front grille. Things looking mean. The way you turn the tires, they did it right. Good job on the picture. Great job on the presentation and, and letting us know that's, hey, that's this is what we actually use the car for. It's a working vehicle. So good job, Texas DPS. I noticed in the background, you have like a little naval ship back there. Maybe next time you put it off so we can see it. But other than that, man, I'm really enjoying the car. Good job. That's number six, Texas Department of Public Safety. Coming in at numero cinco. Idaho State Police. They're just parking that thing right in front of the Capitol. I'm really enjoying the paint scheme. The car is looking fierce. Now, I don't know if that's a side runner or they put that light underneath the car. If you guys look there between the front passenger wheel and the rear passenger wheel, there's like a little light bar back there. Underneath, it could be a side skirt that they put on like a side takedown just to illuminate the picture a little bit. Um, but they do have the front lights on of this black uh, Mustang. Definitely looking good, looking clean. I like the white stripes that go down uh, on the side of it there. I don't know if that goes on all the vehicles, but their uh, paint scheme, really like it, really like it. So good job to Idaho State Police coming in at my number five pick. Coming in at number four is our, our, our Arizona State Troopers. Now I have noticed for some reason, I just gravitate towards slick tops. And I just, I don't know, I guess subconsciously I'm looking at it. I don't notice that it's a slick top. I'm just like, man, that car looks really clean. And then I'm like, wow, that's awesome. However, this car has the light bar on top. And when it comes to pictures itself, they just did it right, right? So they want to tell the story of the mountain range, but yet they don't want to lose the story of the police car. So the police car is bam, perfectly angled. So you can see the front and the side. You can see the logo. They had the lights on, two thumbs up, steady burn. And they got the mountains in the background. So it kind of tells the entire story of what they were trying to go for. The colors are natural and look really nice. The lights are popping. And that car just sitting there in the picture, it looks fast. It just looks fast. So kudos to you guys at Arizona uh, Department of Police with the Camaro. Picture looks good, car looks good, good job. 
Now the number three and number two, you can kind of mix and match. You can go either or for me. Uh, it, it was a toss up. So number three, without further ado, is the Alabama Hamels. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency's Highway Patrol. So Alabama State Troopers, they showed up with this awesome photo you can see in the background. This is what I was talking about the ship for Texas. Like, let's see a little bit of the ship, right? So it's off to the side. It's it's a good picture. That I like the colors personally. They have that like flat looking going on, but it, the lights still pop. So they did a great job with the color scheme. So you have the, looks like the Naval Destroyer in the back with the guns. And then you got the helicopter flying over top. They turn on the front lights. That thing looks crispy clean. Looks really fast, just parked there. Really digging those red brake pads they got. Kind of accents the state flag up front. So Alabama State Troopers, shout out to you guys. Excellent job. And like I said, that number two, three spot for me was like right there neck and neck. Coming in at number two, of course, this is my book. Georgia State Patrol. Now they brought their Mustang old and new. And they look like they did a little street takeover there. They're doing burnouts right there by the finish line. What's going on with that? Let's take a look at the picture. They're at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. They brought out their blue and orange, that iconic paint scheme. Um, they have this particular Mustang has a different, looks like a carbon fiber hood. Got the little hood scoop. It's just looking really good. The tires are looking good. Uh, you can tell that it they parked it to make it look like it was doing donuts there in the front. You know what would have been cool? Maybe you add some smoke to make it look like it was doing donuts. But again, they didn't turn on the lights. Yeah, a little pet peeve, a little pet peeve of mine, but shout out to GSP. Now, they paid homage. They put in the back there their older Mustang. Typically, I'm not a fan of the two cars, right? Um, because it could get confusing as to which car am I looking at. Uh, but, however, they paid homage, and it's GSP looking good. So, shout out to GSP. We let it slide this time, but turn those lights on. Turn the lights on. And of course, I mean, if you didn't notice, number one is Florida Highway Patrol. They're just taking off to outer space and just blew the competition out of the way. Looking down out the window. Where's everybody at? They're way down there. Hey, Kentucky. Hey. So, boom, Florida Highway Patrol comes in. I mean, I don't need, Do I have to talk? Do I? Black and tan. The black and tan. It's iconic. It's intimidating. It's insane. I, 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 triple I's, three I's, three XI. You got the rocket taking off saying, we got this. You got a mid launch uh, that's up in our Cape Canaveral area. They really showed out with this. I know there was a lot of partnerships. I don't have all of them right now, sorry. Uh, but they had a lot of partnerships and help on this. Um, shout out to FHP, as always, fan favorites on this channel. Shout out to all my FHP fam out there. That was my top 10. You can put your top 10 down below if you agree with me or not. I put them up, so I'm sure this conversation is going to be interesting. Guys, if you don't know about the American Association of State Troopers, these are the ones that put on this contest. They actually do this, uh, and then they'll sell a calendar to help raise funds for state troopers across the nation that need help, whether it be financial help or if they have, like, medical bills, they get sick, they get injured, or if their family is they have, like, kids that are sick or injured, help out with medical bills and things like that. Um, they also have an educational program where they help with scholarships. So this is just good stuff here. It's all fun and games. We're all having a good time. Listen, if you're in this profession, you got to have thick skin. So you got to be able to take jabs and throw jabs at the same time. It just so happens in Florida, we throw knockout punches. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know. I was getting a little mushy. I was trying to, you know, tell you guys to go buy the calendar, but I had to throw it in there. I just had to throw it. I don't know. I don't know. It's in the Florida blood. So anyways, let's talk about the calendar. I'm going to put the link down below so you guys can go over it, pre-order the calendar if you want to help raise some funds for the state troopers out there. With that being said, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. <laughs> I had a lot of coffee. Also, like this video. It helps with the algorithm. Like the video. Hit the little thumbs up. It takes two seconds. Like it. Appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe because we got tons of content coming up. And as always, I'll see you when I see you. And if I don't see you, well, then I'll see you. FHP represent.